Over 40 years ago, my grandfather left his home and moved to Vermont because he saw it as a place that he could create a prosperous life for him and for his young family. And uh, he came here, worked hard as a farmhand for someone else until one day he had saved enough. And he and my father built their own uh, dairy farm on what was once an empty field. And now, just two generations later, as a young man starting my own family, I see a very different Vermont than the one that my grandfather moved to. And that's why I'm running for office. Uh, Vermont's home. I mean, I practically have maple syrup running through my veins. And uh, it, it's just part of who I am. And yet I'm worried that the kind of life that I had growing up in Vermont won't be the same for my daughter. I fear our future is not sustainable. And many of the voters I'm talking to in Essex agree. With just the statewide portion of the property tax going up 10% since the last election, I'm sure I'm unsure if we'll ever be able to afford the, the taxes. Uh, some, some people in my district pay as much in property taxes as I pay in rent right now. And that's not even including mortgages, repairs, all those other things. I had one person tell me, I've always voted for every school budget, never had a problem with my property taxes, but this year they went up over $700. And I, this is just out of control. And if they're not talking uh, about how much they're paying in property taxes, voters are asking me how we're going to pay for single payer. There's obviously no more room in property tax, that's for sure. And one voter reminded me if we end up with a 15 to 18 percent payroll tax, then many of Vermont seniors who are 65 and over, who are on Medicare, but are still working because they can't afford to retire in Vermont, are gonna be getting squeezed even further and end up paying for something they don't need. And it's no secret that young people are leaving the state. About half of my peers that worked at IBM have left the state for other jobs. As the president of the Vermont Young Professionals, in the, in the last two years, we've had 50% of our uh, board of directors turn over and most of them leaving the state for other job opportunities. Now these are the young people here in Vermont that are dedicated, committed to that vision of Vermont attracting and retaining young people, and even they can't stay here. Vermonters demand better, and they deserve better. We all want our children to grow up here, to stay here, and to prosper with their families in the same place that we call home. But that picturesque reality is shattered for me by the conversations I'm having with voters. Like one mom who, after being laid off, took a job as a paraeducator and now she sees administrators that never come near kids making three times her salary. Meanwhile, the union is picking her pocket and she has nothing left to buy her daughter shoes for school. Another young couple who literally counted pocket change one month to pay rent in their one bedroom apartment, which is so small that their daughter, who's learning to walk, could only go four to five steps before hitting a wall. It doesn't have to be that way for these families. Vermont can do better. And I'm running to prove that what we need are more regular, hardworking people who know what folks are going through, who are willing to say enough and protect Vermont taxpayers who are stretched to the limit. And it's time to send some of these lobbyist payroll, special interest serving out of touch politicians back into underemployment. Vermont Republicans like myself are willing to work for the kind of change that we can afford, the kind of change that will make Vermont affordable to our young families on tight budgets to our seniors on fixed incomes. Vermont is the most amazing place on earth, and it ought to be that everyone born here can afford to stay here. Thank you.